Hey guys, and welcome back to Big Town. We are here with the Collector to continue our quest for the Jaded Idol. So heroes, you're back in Big Town. Do you have my Jaded Idol? We're working on it. Don't forget, in the wrong hands, Jaded Idol could bring the end of the world. Yeah, about that. It's in the wrong hands, isn't it? Pretty much, but we need a, we have a plan. We need to find the Mirror Guardian. We heard she was in Big Town visiting her cousin. Yes, she was here. I'm her cousin. You? But when those deadly deserts showed up, she fled. Here they come now. Still looking for her. Kill five Petacara warriors and one or more battles to continue. Can we do five in one battle? We can. Ooh, they even still have Maul, but that's not the end of the world. We can definitely deal with this. So, we're fully healed, rested, and all of that good stuff. He's going second. So... Crippling Vines is not the greatest thing. Hmm. Actually, if I do it to the front row... What turn is he? Ah, oh, he's 7, so whatever. We'll just do it for the stun, I guess, in the end anyway. So Nice, rolled stun on all three. We just want to smack the guy in the front. And we could just even smack him like that to make sure he gets stunned as well. So, <laughs> that's pretty good. We stunned everybody but one guy. So. Now we can do incredibly good um, burn damage and grappling vines. Could heal him, but I'm not that worried. This one go for the stuns again in the back row. And then I don't have too much to deal with outside of that. Because we pretty much got the front row dealt with. Do I even? Yeah, I may as well go for another burn though. Because look how little mana that uses. And he recovers so much every turn. Plus, if he uses a spell, it recovers him more. It's just crazy. So, take him out with our priest. And here, I don't think we have to do probably too much. We're to heal everybody a little bit there, because it's free. <laughs> 20 damage. Just ridiculous. Um, I do think I'm going to fireball just to kill him. I have no other way to actually kill him, so... He's up to burn 20. <laughs> Ooh, he has got a crit and a stun. But he's immune to stuns. So, well, I can't see it now, no, but he is immune to stuns. It's just so good. See, he got stunned again, but he is immune. Um, well, we'll heal him just in case. You never know what's going to happen. So, now we can just smack that guy. Actually, get hit that guy. Bleed. This guy won't quite burn. He doesn't have burn, but we can finish him off too bad, or he can just be killed by Rosposte. That guy will bleed to death. Ooh! <laughs> and then a guy will appear from the mob ability. Right at the last second. But that's not the end of the world. Backstab and kill. So not bad at all. Pretty easy defeat. <laughs> and 3,500 experience. Two levels up. Again. We're gonna get 2%, no, just 1%, but she's up to 40, almost 40% crit rate. This is ridiculous. Are we get another energy? Yeah, we are. Which is perfect. We still store 5 energy every turn, which is like a third of what it costs. So. Pretty happy with all this. Looking around after the fight, you know there's a trail of glass shards leading towards the graveyard. I hope it's not a dead end. <laughs> That's just funny. Like, it's very punny, but it's very funny as well. To the rescue! The Mirror Guardian is hiding in the graveyard. Rescue her before Oni's Lord minion get her. Man, we're gonna be so overleveled for our other quest. <laughs> this is gonna be ridiculous. I almost feel like starting another party just to do that, but don't think that's quite worth it either, but we're just gonna be so ridiculous overleveled when we get to that part, but should be too bad. Oops. Oh yeah, that's okay. The minions we attacked with are fine. <laughs> he resisted it, but he's dead. So. Oh, we were actually in the graveyard now, which is where we wanted to go, because I wanted to explore this area. We hadn't got a chance to explore this area yet, so this is very good. But yeah, these enemies are weaker because, um, <laughs> I think this is like a sub, what would it be? 
probably sub 14 area. So. Yeah, just attack with our wizard. Not too po much point in doing anything too crazy. Um, We could purge, heal everybody a little bit, restore everybody's magic a little bit, then we can restore his magic. I think everybody's pretty much maxed in magic now. He should die, yep. Yeah. And now we'll just have that guy to deal with, which is been dealt with. Confusion charm. So that's the charm we're getting from using... I can't quickly go there, but it's from using the gold table we get charms. So charms can be used to upgrade our weapons and armor, so that's very good. Especially because confusion is really a pain in the butt. So. The next thing we... Next armor we upgrade will definitely be using the confusion charm on it. So. Which will make it expensive because we've just upgraded <laughs> our current armor up quite a bit, but I think there'll still be uses for it. So, it's got to roll some explorers. That's uh, so not really that great, but we're getting consistent ones, which is better than getting rolls like this where you get nothing. So, sometimes you get three though, and that's super good. One. Nope. See? Just one. <laughs> Oops, I missed it. We actually got a... This is always a crafting recipe. So, shopping list. You found a shopping list detailing ingredients for the most delicious sandwich. Unfortunately, it doesn't contain anything undead. That's very fortunate. So, I'm actually not sure about that sandwich. That sounds like a kind of an odd item to craft. Because usually the items you craft are accessories, but I guess it could be a improved food. That would restore more health and stuff, so. More health, endurance, possibly even cure status effects. Perfect, we got 12 giant sword. So I had to take a peek at an open museum. It's a mummified monster corpse with a strangely big sword lying on top of it. <laughs> you actually see that quite often in. Holy crap, that's a mighty sword. 1721, 14, 14, 8. So that's the thing, no one, none of our people can use it because I don't want him to have that hurt of that much threat. And it's not quite as good as my war axe. Because what's... Say instead of that I use this two handed sword. Oh it needs three hands! So he could use it, only jocks can use the the sword. Oh, okay, it's called the three-handed sword. So. So only jocks can use it. Using stuff that's blue outline can't be upgraded as well. So, this War Axe plus three is way better when it takes two hands. Because it gives, like, seven more thread and additional damage. And like I said, can't be upgraded. But let us continue on our quest. The sun dips below the horizon, and the mists of night gather as you reach the eerie graveyard. Mayor Guardian, hello, we're here to rescue you. What makes you think I need rescuing? Only, our, only Lord's army is looking for you. I was right. I, or sorry, I was well hidden until you led them right to me. Die for only Lord. See, now you need rescuing. Luckily, we have to long. <laughs> I don't think her hiding place was that great. They kind of were going to figure out where she was eventually, so. He's pretty quick. Oh, I love that. That'd be the one thing, but she can't use the three-handed sword anyway. But that'd be one thing in favor of the three-handed sword. Is that um, it would get her hit more, which means she'd heal more. And that's actually one thing that using your tank as a cheerleader would probably actually be the most powerful thing you could do better than big hands so but oh no sorry it's just when you rest never mind it wouldn't be good in jock the reason it's so good on the rogue is the stealth ability is when you attack you automatically shield however you could turn your thief i guess into your tank but she has no ability to naturally generate threat the reason he has so much threat is he's getting 21 threat from his response ability otherwise you have to rely totally on your weapon so so yeah, never mind. I had a momentary thing, but I figured it out pretty quickly. So, um, I don't even think we need to heal him. Keep smashing. I'm not getting that many crits, even though my crit rate's like 40%. But, 
Yeah, this is Ralph in the back row again. Because like, we can get the stuns and get the additional burn, which will probably just kill the guy in the middle there, yep. He usually gets a lot of damage because he has a lot of spell damage, plus is 16, plus all this stuff in his equipment as well. Uh, yeah, just finish him off. Probably didn't need to use that ability, but may as well heal him up, give by a little bit more mana, and keep bashing. Critical wound 6. That's one thing, that thing has a high wound. But I don't get that many criticals on him anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Um, I, you actually don't need to use your mana in that fashion. That ability always looks like it's damaging, but it's pretty weak actually. So they'll take some pretty good damage from the vines and the burn. He's at the burn 14. So even if it was his turn, he would be defeated. So. We even got a small shield, which is something we're never going to use, ever. That was an adequate rescue, I suppose. We need your mirror of inward reflection to fight Oni Lord. Take me back to my cousin, the Collector, and I will consider it. No problem. Sure, we'll travel to Big Town right after we travel to the swamp. Because I quickly want to um, check for clues. Actually, that's a lot of clues for this area. Like, seven clues for one item is pretty rough and pretty expensive. So, but I guess the last year I think we were looking for like 14 clues or something, so. But if you find one clue each time, it's 35 gold, I think. But, if you find two, but there's a chance we'll get some with none, so. But we're actually doing really cheap. This is probably only going to be 20 gold. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> there go, there's 10 clues. Low hiding fruit. You found a pair of goggles hanging on low branch. They could limit the wearer's vision, but that could turn out to be useful. Immunity to confusion. Goggles of tunnel vision. Ah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I just love using three um, mini Kinikos. I don't even know why I'm using the wallet, but I guess I might have not been able to afford at that time to get another Minikiniko. Oh, and the other reason is he doesn't really use his crit rate. That's more the reason actually than the latter, so. Welcome back, cousin. Welcome back. Ooh, we got the knight. Reach Level 20 with any class. That's pretty solid. Um, so, Radiance would give another 2 energy to everybody, which I think is worth it. Gives us more sustain. Definitely, as always, want to go with more Responsity. 4% damage this time. So, only I can get my senses up a little bit though. Because he doesn't um, I'll attack that much because my senses is so low. But the only way is to use those crappy items that only increase senses by one. Um, if you don't know what to talk about, if you go to trinkets, it's these ones. They increase the senses by one, but that's pretty kind of pitiful to increase your senses by one. So, but let us look at the new crafting material we got. Like I said, I'm guessing it's going to be a food of some type. So bread, cheese, and lettuce, we get the sandwich. So, hmm, pretty good restoration, but not something too worried about. Yeah, and the only Ghani shield has to be held in hand. It's only two damage reduction, while the shield that I have here is four, but I guess it does give a negative ten, but... I just love the idea of putting two shields on him because he can't, um, he doesn't get negative energy. So, I'm a companion. I just like gripping vines. But, yeah, three health. I don't really use it that much. Let's go more with gripping vines. So, he's caught up pretty handily. But I think they catch up pretty easily um, at a point because. Um, the XP to level is so much greater than it is at any other point, 
and maybe they get more experience as well, so I think it's quite easy. So, let's head to Origami or Bust. You rescued the Mirror Guardian, now you would ask for a Mirror of Inward Reflection. Mirror, please. I don't have the Mirror of Inward Reflection. What? Be the Mirror Guardian. We collect all the glass should drop long way. Aren't they piece of the mirror? Oh no, those are from a bag of broken glass. I left a false trail to trick only Lord's forces. I hid the mirror in Orienting Village before I left. We chased you all the way here for nothing? Not for nothing. Your bravery and persistence proved you were worthy to receive the mirror. Worthy high five. That's why I'm back to Orienting Village and I'll give you the mirror. Ah, oh, now that's a long trip. It's going to cost 30 gold. Plus, we're probably going to get attacked on every... I'm guessing mate, possibly on every way in? Ooh, that's like an upgraded baddie. I can't remember what they're called. Upgraded bat. No, oh, I can't remember. Something bad in the name, but... Just take out these foul bears. Still find foul bear to be funny, because they're chickens and bears. Man, he rolls out of it. Just must have pretty, pretty good senses. That's very for him to get a critical as well, but did not. But I think he's not really a sense-focused character, so. Ooh, got a wound on him, so we can start attacking this foul bear. I'm not gonna use magic again. I don't think it's really worth it. Crit again! Pretty solid, so now we can attack the foul bear and attack this bad baddie. Tried to stun me, but I am immune. And we'll just take turns smacking him. Probably hit him again, which is actually probably worth healing him now, which is no problem. <laughs> Didn't even get him up the full, but not to worry. Didn't roll out of worry. Did 11 damage to him, and I think he is the lowest damage reduction of all my characters. And we got the Dragon Mint, which is actually really good. It's a craft ingredient that is used for making, I think, the dragon. Oh, why did you lose your sigh? No clue. But I'm using the size here just because they have damage reduction and they give a little bit of damage. So let us continue. Hopefully we don't get attacked. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to get attacked every step of the way. So, ooh, four snakes in the front row. <laughs> but snakes are pretty basic. Some of these fights are going to be pretty basic. Like, expect. If I had to fight a rat traps, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Cause I'm way past killing rat traps. So but at least we can use thunder from him to kill them all in one hit, but the way it's working. All my characters usually get to attack before my mage says, yep. Yeah. Rat traps. So just heal. You got it as well. And then just lightning up the ball. Oh, it only does a line! I didn't realize that. I thought it did all enemies. I've actually, that's the first time I've used that ability, so can't blame me for not knowing. <laughs> okay. So there's two more areas I have to go? Yeah. Vault, Bamboo Forest, and an Oriented Village. So I ex expected this because that's how protect missions work in the first game. And they're equally as painful often because you have to fight enemies that are so below your level that it's just kind of <laughs> cringeworthy that you have to even fight them again. So, oh, at least we got the response day, so now we can kill hopefully these guys before they get a chance to respond. Oh no, that's six. Oops, I killed shield, killed three. Okay, but we still got it complete. So, a ball of goo. We're asking to get some crafting greens we don't have. Head to the band forest, complete the last area. I still know how we have to get attacked on the way to um, Orienting Village as well. Po probably by some terracotta warriors, but I'll go for the frog first. No point using um, any of my spells here. But I guess I could have used um, the frostbite because, but everything else is adjacent, has adjacency, so it's not really that worth it. But yeah. Frostbite does do a crap ton of damage. You can just clear off these guys pretty easily. So, I guess it's definitely worth to do. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the attack that hits them all. 
the barrage of knives? I'm not sure. But. Barrage of knife you really have to invest in for it to be good, so. Which makes it not very good. So, defeat that Kappa. We can smack this Kappa, and then we can. <laughs> tries to stun me. You can't stun me. <laughs> that sounds like a John Cena thing. You can't stun me. <laughs> so anyway guys, I think we'll end the episode here because I'm guessing we're going to have to fight in Oriented Village as well. So we'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys. Later.